Sunday. Our church is back in session, but we are not going because they don't have a nursery. I think because of COVID, they just don't want like kids mingling together. Is that the reason behind no nursery for church? I would assume so, yes. Yeah, so we're home. Brad just cleaned out the pool. So we have fresh, nice fresh water. And the kids are enjoying a little pool time. Since we're not really going to the public pool because of illness. Whoa! Hi, pumpkin drop. You are so close to crawling. So now it's like if we if we sit her on her bottom, she almost immediately goes forward like this into a crawl position. Right? Yeah. I had to get her some new sleep socks because she was very quickly growing out of the... Uh-oh. Very quickly growing out of the sleep socks that she had. And it works out perfectly. Our nanny, her daughter is a few months behind Eloise and is transitioning out of, I think out of a swaddle or she might already be in a sleep sack but is outgrowing them. So she took Eloise's current sleep sacks and then we are handing down Bear and Lindell's sleep sacks to Eloise except for two out we have we only had three of them between the two and two out of the three of them have big holes where their feet have come through just because they wear them every single night for a year and a half I guess so I'm gonna see <laughs> So I'm gonna see if I can mend those and if I can that'll be awesome I think I'll need to like patch them which I've never done before I've never I know it's iris can you say iris iris I've never done like a patch a patch of a hole before but it can't be that hard so I think I'll try to patch the ones that she has and then I got one more bears was almost completely destroyed it had holes pretty much everywhere in it <clears throat> so we're growing we're growing and growing the size that I just got here is the size that is the size I got the twins when they turned one and then they wore them all the way up to two and a half now and now bear does not wear a sleep sack anymore he just doesn't want to and he's really good about keeping his blanket on him at night <clears throat> but Lyndall loves to have a sleep sack on she's she's definitely slept a handful of nights without it but she prefers to have it on and there would be no chance you're gonna go back up like this let's go back up like this and then see what happens there would be no chance you would sleep all night with a blanket on you so your sleep sack will just keep you nice and warm you want to hold the camera is that what you want oh my goodness yeah are you gonna go over go on over look at you look at you you definitely have the strength for it. It's just a matter of putting all the steps together, huh? Yeah. You're so close. And then we're gonna have some real baby proofing to do. I watch Kendra with Kendra. Um, she has twins and then a singleton as well. And I remember when our twins were little, she was talking about how she never like baby proofed her kitchen. She just was really um, like disciplined on Look at you. I'm telling the girls they couldn't go in the cabinets and they were not allowed to do that. And so I remember thinking like, wow, that's impressive. Cause I don't feel like I would have been able to just be like, no. And then they would have stopped. Um, it would have just been like a constant battle. So um, I just thought it was really impressive. But what was really funny is now that she has Owen, her youngest, she had to like baby proof the kitchen because she couldn't keep him out of the cabinets. So it's just really funny, like all kids are different and some strategies that work for some don't work for others and that's just, I think there's as, diff, as many different parenting strategies as there are kids. It, that's what it seems like anyway. So it's just interesting to see like how other people handle things like baby proofing and um, I, I do have a friend also like at the lake here that doesn't baby proof anything to the extent that she doesn't like plug outlets with um, like those safety things, she just explains that they're dangerous and that you can't put anything in them. But I think I'm more of a 
worrier and I would just worry that that one time I wasn't there like something bad would happen so I plug I plug all of our outlets but I don't know I kind of to an extent agree with like just being really disciplined and consistent about not letting them open the cabinets and hopefully they learn that way and you don't have to like do the annoying latches that are hard for you to get open so we'll see how Eloise is as soon as she starts crawling she's gonna have free reign all around the kitchen and everything so that will be interesting won't it <laughs> so we are all set up out here. What are we watching, Bear? Coco. Watching Coco on the TV that Brad mounted out on the screen and porch. It's beautiful out. We have the fan going and it's making it just like extra perfect out here, isn't it? Are you ready to paint your toenails? This, red. You want to do this color? Yeah. Okay. I don't open it. You, I don't want you to open it because it'll spill. This will spill and that will stain everything it touches. So, we gotta be extra careful. You gotta let mommy open it, okay? Until you're a little bit older. All right, is that how you wanna sit? You gotta make sure you hold real still, okay? Okay. She won that, she I won know. that. She does want that. Hello? Can you give it to Eloise? I think it's for her. It's for Eloise. Thank you, Junebug. Okay, hold real still, June. Okay. Hold real still. Now Louise is going to be the wild card. See this one? Oh! This is a close one. Put this over here. Okay, that foot's done. Mm -hmm. 
He's holding tail. Pretty, Mom. Yeah. Pretty. It's turning out good, isn't it? Oh my God. See what I'm doing. Let's see her foot. Look. Little foot. All done. All done. All done. Okay. Thank you, Junebug. Thank you. Thank you. It looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, don't touch him. <laughs>